Hello everyone, my name is Maria and I'm a part of uh, Artmaster Theatre in Juvascula in Finland and we have watched the video from Veliki Novgorod all together with our Artmaster team and we came up with some questions and later we had a Zoom meeting where we have discussed the video and asked our questions. We think that discussion was very useful for both sides of this conversation, so for us and for Veliki Novgorod team and uh, it was very nice to share our ideas and we could learn from each other. So during the meeting of our team, we have uh, discussed uh, the video and all the members of the team shared their opinions and thoughts. Uh, and that was the most memorable from uh, this moment. Uh, we want to mention that the uh, coordinators and leaders of uh, uh, the team made a great job because the video was well structured and it was easy for us to follow the storyline, it was very clear. And uh, many team members were involved in the video, so that means that the team uh, takes this very responsible. And also the general video was very meaningful and useful. We haven't know that much about Veliki Novgorod in general, but after watching the video, uh, we came up with some new historical things for us, and the most memorable thing for us was the fact about the pigeon that is actually at some point a symbol of uh, freedom, and it's kind of like a sign of the city. So. In the end of the video, there were some questions, and now it's time to answer them. So, answering the first question, speaking generally, uh, we don't think that uh, compliance at any cost is a very good and workable strategy. We believe that each person is unique and can express themselves in different various ways, and thus, if a person is told by others that what they should do or should not, it can limit his or her uh, abilities and like ability to think creatively. Uh, it is useful to ask for advice of other people to understand the opinion of others, but uh, it's usually harmful. Some it can be harmful sometimes to comply with everything that other people may say. Asking the second questions, we can say that yes, we agree that at some level, uh, parents. Uh, can affect their children and their soft thoughts, so uh, it's not always the thing that is good for children's future. Uh, in this case, parents don't give the, any choice to their children and basically decide what kind of life their children will have. So children usually grow up being sad and depressed about the thing that they cannot express themselves how they wanted to. But on the other hand, sometimes uh, uh, children are not relying only on what their parents think and as young people can be sometimes very emotional and have a lack of experience in life it is very good to ask a piece of advice of their parents because they are more experienced they already had their own life and uh, also this is the reason why parents and children should always communicate to each other and uh, parents can guide their children uh, because they take care of them and they care about them in general. And asking, answering the third question, we think that freedom and self-expression are fundamental and most important uh, part of human rights. People who feel freedom can express themselves and uh, they, are very they have a potential to grow up as people in the future. But unfortunately, in some countries and cultures, human rights are not respected the way that they are supposed to be. And uh, that's why countries where the human rights are respected more uh, have, have a potential to develop faster. And in the end, we have prepared our third question for the tour. So our question is, what bird has become a symbol of Veliki Novgorod and why? Thank you.